What's up guys, Sal here. So the smartphone market has been dominated by two companies for years. But now a third company is slowly rising up and challenging these two. They already overtook Apple for the number two spot and now wants to beat Samsung to become the number one smartphone maker in the world. The CEO of Huawei Mobile said in an interview that they're confident that they'll beat Samsung by the year 2020. He said, and I quote, next year will be very close to number one. Maybe we'll be on par with Samsung. And at least the year after, maybe we have a chance to be the number one the year 2020. That being said, it's not going to be easy for Huawei to actually do this. It's going to be one tough battle. But anything is possible though. It's possible to imagine Huawei as the world's largest smartphone vendor. I remember people saying they didn't think that Huawei could take the number two spot from Apple and they did it. So the idea of them possibly overtaking Samsung doesn't seem completely out of the question. Huawei has been putting out some really good smartphones, especially as of the last two years. Their Honor sub-brand has also been putting out some really good smartphones as well. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens here. If Samsung doesn't do anything drastic, Huawei might overtake them in a couple of years. But it's not like Samsung doesn't care. Samsung does understand that Huawei is right there to take their position and that's the reason they have completely changed their strategy recently. You might remember Samsung CEO told a few months ago that they're gonna bring the new cool features to their mid-range devices first because that's where the majority of the market share is. One of the reasons the Galaxy S10 is getting a big design overhaul is because of Huawei. Samsung has also started targeting Chinese market and they've been releasing devices exclusive to China. So it's gonna be really hard for Huawei to actually overtake Samsung. But like I've said, anything is possible. In the end, competition like this is good for us. It means better products and competitive prices. Of course, that being said, I can see Apple fans in the comments section already saying market share doesn't matter. What matters is how much profit these companies make and no one can touch Apple in profits and whatnot. First of all, Samsung as a whole makes more profit than Apple and no one except for Apple fanboys and investors give a damn about profits as a metric. Look at the auto industry. We talk about the best selling cars, we talk about the best performing, we talk about the most luxurious, best looking. We never go into who the most profitable company is. That's all fanboyism and some kind of PS excuse to have some kind of spot that Apple is number one, which clearly they're not. So this pretty much confirms the design of the Galaxy S10. These are the newly discovered patent filing images, which confirms that the hole for the camera is going to be at the left and there will be no bezels at the top and bottom. The two main images depict a Model A and Model B, with the primary difference being how rounded the corners are. Unfortunately, the patent doesn't offer any detailed description on other features of the Galaxy S10, but at least it offers a solid depiction of what we'll be holding in our hands sometimes next year. That said, make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of the Galaxy S10 updates. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.